Let's have a look at the relationship between the equation of a curve in polar form and in Cartesian form and how we can convert between the two forms. And before we look at that, let's just start by explaining what we mean by polar coordinates and Cartesian coordinates. And the Cartesian coordinates of a point on the curve are just the usual coordinates x, y, where x is the horizontal coordinate of the point and y is its vertical coordinate while polar coordinates are expressed in terms of r and theta, where r is the distance of the point from the origin, and if theta is expressed as a positive angle, it is in the angle made anti-clockwise with the positive x-axis. And first let's have a look at how we would go about converting from a polar equation into a Cartesian equation. So here we have the equation r equal to 6 sine theta. And to rewrite it as a Cartesian equation, we want to rewrite that in terms of x and y. So let's look at how r can be expressed first of all in terms of x and y. And by Pythagoras, r is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. While theta, and this example shows the first quadrant, but this will also actually work for any point. In this case, you'll notice sine theta, which is what we have on the right hand side, that is always the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is y divided by r. Therefore, we could rewrite this equation. r becomes square root of x squared plus y squared, and then the right-hand side becomes 6, y divided by r. But again, we're wanting to rewrite all of it in terms of x and y, so rather than y over r, it can be again written as y divided by x squared plus y squared. And that, in fact, is the Cartesian equation of the curve. However, we would usually go a bit further, because it's not very clear what that curve is going to look like, is it? So we'd usually tidy this up a bit and rearrange it. And this square root of x squared plus y squared on the denominator, we could start by multiplying both sides of the equation by that, which on the left-hand side, that will then just become x squared plus y squared. And when we multiply through by square root x squared plus y squared, it'll cancel on the right-hand side, just leaving 6y. So this looks a little bit better, but we can still go a bit further. x squared plus y squared, subtracting 6y from both sides, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6y is 0. And the presence of the x squared plus y squared there is suggesting a circle. And since we just have x squared without other x terms, the x coordinate of the centre of the circle will be 0. But we would need to complete the square to find the y coordinate of the centre. And so to complete the square on that, looking at the y term here, negative 6y, so halving that and squaring it gives negative 3 squared is 9, so we would add 9 to both sides of the equation. And then that gives us x squared plus, and then this bit factorises in this case to be y minus 3 all squared equal to 9. So that is the equation of this curve which we can then see is in fact a circle where the centre of that circle would be 0, 3 and the 9 on the right hand side shows us the radius squared is 9 hence the radius of that circle is 3. So that was an example of converting from polar equation into a Cartesian one. Let's now have a look at an example where we work in the other direction where we start with a Cartesian equation and we want to convert it to a polar equation. In other words, here we want to rewrite this in terms of r and theta. So again, let's look at our diagram of how x, y, r and theta are related. And we can see that x divided by r is equal to cos theta. Hence it follows that x is always equal to r cos theta. And similarly we saw before y divided by r was sine theta. Hence in fact it is always the case that y equals r sine theta. So we can substitute those into this equation so that we get, in this case, r cos theta minus 3 squared plus r sine theta squared equal to 4. And expanding these brackets and simplifying them, we would end up with r squared cos squared theta minus 6r cos theta plus 9 plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to 4. And the question is, can we simplify this further? And our r squared cos squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta, we could take r squared out of that as a common factor. 
and we're also then left with the rest of this minus 6 r cos theta. We could subtract 4 from both sides to just get that's plus 5 equal to 0. And the identity cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1 means that part just simplifies to be r squared minus 6 r cos theta plus 5 is 0. So this is the polar equation of this curve, which you'll notice is actually in this case not as easy to interpret as the Cartesian equation. Because the Cartesian equation actually shows that it's a circle with centre 3, 0 and radius 2. Whereas from the polar equation it would have been harder to pick that. So there are advantages of different representations in different cases, but these are examples of how to convert between the two forms.